you own a basic mini mod system, you might not realize that this module here allows you a very convenient way of controlling the pitch of your three VCOs. It does this by accessing the CV bus. There's also a gate bus and certain MIDI to CV converters will allow you to connect to that in order to control both the pitch of the VCOs and via the gate bus, also the envelope generator at the end. But anyone who has a CV controller can use a CV bus so long as your case or your, your bus board supports it. The glide and noise module will allow you access to the CV bus. But when you first acquire the module, there'll be a jumper on the back here that determines whether or not the module will receive CV from the CV bus or send CV down the CV bus. So at the moment, it's set to receive. And if we change this jumper, Now it's set to send the CV, so when that's installed, if you connect the CV here, it will then be sent on to the, to the VCOs. The glider noise module essentially allows you to put any control voltage signal into the CV in, which will then be directed to the three VCOs. The most obvious use for that would be to connect a keyboard or a sequencer so you can control them. But even if you put an LFO or a, like a mod controller or something, some other kind of expressive controller that, that outputs CV into the CV in, you could still control the VCOs in the same way. So from a keyboard, I've got a cable connected to my keyboard here and I've just put the other end into the CV in so already that's controlling a pitch of all three VCOs without using multiples or stacking cables Here I've got a sequence controlling the three VCOs through the, the CV in. So all three VCOs are responding to the CV bus, but I can easily cancel that in order to keep one of the VCOs at a set pitch or to use it in another voice, etc. Simply by plugging a patch cable in. Doesn't need to be anything at the other end. Now you can hear that lowest VCO is just maintaining the same pitch. Now I could control that from another sequencer and use it in another another voice and send it to another another audio chain. Same with this one. And this one. The Glide Noise module also has a CV output. This replicates the output of the module that's being sent down the CV bus, so that's the CV coming into it from whatever you're inputting into the module, plus whatever your Glide settings are up here. I've got Glide off at the moment, so it will just be giving me what the, the keyboard is, is sending to it. This has a multitude of uses, but probably the most obvious one is to control the filter. On the original Minimoog, a way in which the filter was often used very musically was to set it to self-oscillate and because it would track the keyboard one volt per octave, it could be used as like a fourth sine wave VCO and then you could set it at whatever pitch you desired just by tuning the frequency of the, of the filter. At the moment I've just got the contour generators triggering the, the frequency of the filter, so it sounds like this. If I remove that, 
then it will sound very flat because there'll be no movement in the filter created by the envelope and the frequency set pretty low at the moment but then I'll take cable from the CV out connected to the one volt per octave input of the filter as opposed to the frequency CV input which the contour generator was connected to so at the moment with a fairly low amount of resonance it will just sound pretty much like before except the, the keyboard range will be affecting the frequency of the filter and if I bring the resonance up and this is something that will need to be tuned depending on what you've got going into the inputs of the filter and their, their levels and so on So you can hear I've got the filter set at a musical interval from the, the pitch of the VCOs which are all tuned to the same pitch. There'll be an in-depth video soon covering both the CV and the gate bus but in order to use it the bus board needs to support it and each manufacturer will have different designs so you'll have to either consult your documentation or if it comes to it even contact the manufacturer. The dope for bus boards all support the CV and gate bus, but the designs vary over the course of time. On this one, the two sides aren't physically linked, they're just linked by these, these jumpers here. So at the moment, if I use this as my access point, if I connect a glide and noise module, for example, then it will control any modules that are all the way down the bus board. But if I remove these jumpers, then it will stop here and these will be separate so I'll have to control them or access them separately and this is something to consider if you're going to build a case with multiple bus boards and let's say you want to enter in on one bus board with a glide noise for example and then control a VCO or an envelope generator that's on one of your other bus boards they'll have to be connected and this is the point where you connect them how you go about connecting them will depend on the design of the board but generally speaking, whatever modules you wish to control, they have to either be on the same bus board or linked to the one where, you, where your signal is coming in. Also, you don't have to connect your access point to any particular header. You could put the glide and noise module, say, down here and still control VCOs or envelopes that are up here. However you use your CB and gate bus, just make sure you don't send multiple signals down it simultaneously. So if you've got multiple modules connected to it which can send CV or gate down through the bus just make sure that you don't send them down on top of each other because that could cause problems. Modules that respond to the CV and gate bus will come with a 16 pin cable so identical at both ends whereas other modules will generally come with a 10 pin cable so you have a 16 pin connector at one end to connect to the bus board but the connector that goes into the back of the module will only be 10 pins and the reason for that is if you look at the header the top two pairs of pins are marked gate and CV so modules such as the, the DHADSR which responds to gate signals sent down the, the gate bus will have a 16 pin connector so they can listen to the, the signal being sent through these, these pins at the top. Whereas something with like the ladder filter, which doesn't respond to the CV or gate bus, will just have a 10-pin a connector because it doesn't need those, those terminals at the top.